CNN has its bias. It's pretty obvious. It's pretty blatant. I mean, they tried to tone it down a little bit because, you know, they got themselves that little debate coming up. Jake Tapper is going to take on Biden with Trump. And Biden's going to sit there, ah, oh, convicted felon, convicted felon, convicted felon. I know how that's going to go. Anyway, CNN tried to really bury Kevin McCarthy over the weekend and, and bury Trump and, and point out that this is, this is an issue of character, right? He's just a bad, bad guy, and that's what you ultimately need to decide this election on. But I love this because McCarthy actually rose to the occasion, right? I know a lot of you are not huge fans, but this is a good example of being able to really turn it back on a not-so-very-smart reporter, the issue of character being one that, frankly, this particular president clearly is devoid of, really doesn't have much of, frankly, I want you to see this. This is a, I, I can't pronounce his name, so I won't even try some guy over on CNN. Manu um, with Kevin McCarthy. Watch. He said, you know, it's not about policy, essentially. He says it's about character. He says it's about character. Why don't you agree? Uh, look, I would, <laughs> because everybody's entitled to their own opinion. And you know what? I've served with both presidents, with President Trump and President Biden. And I'm making a decision on what's best for the country. We didn't have inflation. We didn't have war in Europe. We didn't have five embassies evacuated. We didn't have 13 Gold Star families by a missed decision in Afghanistan. We didn't have this new axis of evil that we haven't seen from the 1930s pushing but China. But so character, so character shouldn't no, matter. I'm character matters, matter. matter. but there's a whole support. And is there a character matter when you say Biden used his own power to tell the American public that the laptop was not true, that Biden used now through the Secretary of State to go to 51 people in the intel community, former CIA directors, to tell the American public that that wasn't true. But you're concerned that about the character power, there, but listen, not character about Trump. But I'm, you weigh, I'm weighing it all. I'm being consistent. You're being inconsistent in this if you listen. Think for one moment. You're saying only character matters and you're only going after Trump. People are human in, the, in this place of where we go. This is a decision um, of, a, of an issue that people knew about since 2016, mm -hmm. so they voted on it. You're going back to something 10 years. So if character matters, would you put somebody up on trial just because they're your political enemy? I think that matters in the character. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, that's the fairest characterization, really. Would you put somebody on trial just because they are your political enemy? Look, Donald Trump had the chance to with Hillary Clinton. Remember that? I mean... Everybody wanted her to be put on trial, and he didn't take that opportunity. He, he actually didn't. And I spoke to him about the time, and he said, you know what? You know, she, she, she's the wife of the former president. She was running against me. She was my opponent. That wouldn't be very American. That would be like what they do in third world countries. And so, you know, it was fun on the campaign trail. Remember the, you know, the whole, like, you'd be in jail thing during the debate? It was a good laugh. But when push came to shove, he actually didn't follow through on that. That's interesting because the left, on the other hand, they're falling through on everything. They're just trying to take him down. Listen, and if you dare, if you dare for one second to think, hey, you know, maybe this is a little extreme. Maybe they're doing exactly what they're threatening he might do. They're actually doing it in real time. Then you're the problem.